Guys, just hear me out. Just, just, just go along for the ride on this one for me, okay? This is a, uh, this is definitely a wish list for me, okay? At the 2019 Mego Meet in beautiful Columbus, Ohio, I saw a lot of fantastic, a lot of fantastic custom figures. And I saw some fantastic Bigfoot custom figures, eight inch custom figures. And and I know, guys, before before you even say it, it might be you're just you're just absolutely greedy. You're just greedy. That's what you are, MIB. I know. But guys, I got a fresh pot of coffee on, and it just came across my mind. And I gotta share this coffee, and I gotta share this content with somebody. So it, it might as well be my awesome subscribers and viewership. Welcome to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. And guys, this is another episode of Coffee Time with MIB. I have been a fan of Bigfoot, uh, the creature, the legend, wh whatever you want to call it, but I've been a fan of Bigfoot um, since I can remember, um, since the the mid 1970s when the Bigfoot craze really hit the United States. I mean, there were movies about this creature. Uh, there was there were TV shows about this creature. Um, there were toys about this creature. And with the big news coming out of Migo a couple weeks ago from the Migo meet about all of the monsters and the 14 inch figures, I got the thinking. I got the thinking, guys, which is a dangerous thing, okay? <laughs> but I got the thinking. I got the drinking coffee and I got the thinking. What if Migo could put out a Bigfoot figure. How cool would that be? Not just any Bigfoot figure. I mean, you, you know, I don't. We don't need a six million dollar man Bigfoot figure. That's that's been done. I mean, you you see that right in front of you. Uh, that's been done now. That's been done in the, in the uh, the late nineteen seventies. Um, who who put Bigfoot? Uh, the big uh, Kenner, I believe Kenner put the first uh, Bigfoot figure out. I would like uh, Migo to do a fourteen inch. Bigfoot figure. You think they can do it, guys? Is it possible? And we're looking at my um, Biff Bang Pow big Bigfoot figure, and this is more in the from, from the Six Million Dollar Man, obviously, uh, more in the head sculpt of Andre the Giant, who to me played the the best Bigfoot ever. And Biff Bang Powell did a, a fantastic job. Actually, this is not an eight inch action figure. Uh, this is a little taller. His ankles are extended at the bottom of this beautiful uh, um, furry suit, brown furry suit. So it makes him somewhere around 10. Uh, no, I would say about nine, nine and a half, maybe, maybe 10, 10 inches tall. Somebody has this figure. Let me know how tall this guy is. If you have him out of this is a, a C10 um, museum example here that we have here at the museum but I'm using um, this Bigfoot figure uh, definitely as a prop and, a, and a, an example for our coffee time discussion what do you think guys a 14 inch a 14 inch Bigfoot figure and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna contact Migo uh, through our the, the, their Facebook page, 
um, through their YouTube page. And I know, listen, guys, I know while I'm sitting here sipping my coffee in my museum, I know I'm being greedy, but it doesn't hurt to ask, how about a 14 inch Bigfoot figure? Would you buy it? Would you purchase it? If you're in Walmart or Target or the, the other fantastic retailers that will be uh, carrying and selling Mego figures, let's say, let's use Walmart as an example. You're in Walmart and you see a Mego 14 inch Bigfoot figure. Would you purchase it? Yes or no? We want to hear all the comments, guys. And listen, guys, if I'm out of line, by all means, you know, I give you the, the green light to put me back in my place and say, hey, MIB, you just got, you, you're just getting greedy, man. You're asking for too much. You want too much. These guys have given us, speaking of Migo, these guys have given us so much, so quickly, so soon. And now you're, you're, you're still grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. You're still asking. Still got your hand out. I can't help myself, guys. I'm a collector. I'm a museum curator. Uh, but more importantly than that, I'm a visionary. I see it, guys. I see me go making tons and tons of money on a 14-inch Bigfoot figure. I can visualize it. I see it now. I, I, I see me go and I'm not trying to to, to uh, 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 persuade me go through this 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 uh, video yes I am I'm sorry guys <laughs> but I see me go announcing that they're gonna come out with a 14 inch Bigfoot figure how would that figure look there's another angle how would you like that figure to look like Andre the Giant with the scary eyes, all the hair. Should he have a furry body? Uh, we know that um, the Wave 6 interim, uh werewolf figure will have a, a flock body. I've seen the custom, beautiful custom um, Bigfoot figures at the 2019 Mego meet have furry bodies. And if you, you you don't believe me, check out my my two videos, my part one and part two videos at the 2019 Mego meet. That'll give you a good indication of what those Bigfoot figures look like, along with those werewolf figures. What's your take on this, guys? Would you purchase A Bigfoot figure, a Mego 14 inch Bigfoot figure. Think about it. Uh, think about the possibilities uh, that this figure could have. We know what the 14 inch bodies look like. Would this figure sell? Would you buy it? These and so many much more questions, guys here at the MIB Master Toy Museum for coffee time with MIB. I'm curious to see this figure. And it doesn't have, like I said, Mego, because the Bigfoot creature, uh, it, it's, it's, it's so generic as far as licensing rights and properties. Uh, I don't think anybody holds the Bigfoot creature itself as a as a property or licensing. I don't think anybody holds the the sole licensing rights and property to that creature. It's like the Loch Ness monster or, or something like that. I don't think you can do that. So I think you you can you can create a Bigfoot figure. I don't I don't foresee any issue that that Mego would have 
and creating a 14 inch Bigfoot figure. And he literally would be big at 14, at 14 inches. Who knows? Maybe, maybe at eight, 18 inches. But knowing me go, um, it would be, it, it would be pointless money wise to create, just create a, a new 18 inch body just for the, 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 the Bigfoot figure. So why not a 14 inch Bigfoot figure? Guys, this is one of the most legendary creatures of all time. Mysterious, horrifying, and in some cases, um, uh, mis uh, uh, mystical. I mean, he has many names. Yeti, Bigfoot, um, Sasquatch. Maybe Migo doesn't have to call him Bigfoot. They can call him one of those names. You know, I have a a a G.I. Joe adventure team. And I don't know if I can he's under too much now, but I have a G.I. Joe adventure team um a Yeti figure, a white Yeti figure with covered in fur. And he's gotta be he's somewhere probably around 13 inches tall. He's massive. Maybe even 14 inches tall. But we want to use this one because I think this is uh, this is a more of a Mego type size body here. And this is beautifully done. Um, this is Biff Bang Pow and MC Toys uh, just doing it at a whole nother level. But a 14 inch Bigfoot figure. It just popped in my head, guys. I was making some coffee sipping on my coffee and I said you know what let me get to the museum before this idea vanishes out of my head and let me get to the museum and share this with my awesome subscribers and viewership and get their take on a 14 inch Migo Bigfoot figure Migo I want I want some credit guys <laughs> Migo Corporation. I want a little a little credit if you guys come out with this. Just a little, guys. Maybe a wave or something. <laughs> a handshake. Guys, I think uh, I, I really think this figure would sell. A 14 inch Bigfoot Migo figure. Your take your explanation, guys, for why, why not, we want to hear all of that. Coffee time with MIB here at the MIB Master Toy Museum. God bless, guys. And keep.